Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Game Rookies on Fan TV, man. Here with you guys, Evan and Evan. Uh, we going to talk about that Ravens-Giants game. Uh, coming up this Sunday, 1 p.m., Ravens have a, uh, a clash with the 4-1 Giants. This is not, you know, what we thought we were going to get into when uh, the schedule came out. But here we are. They 4-1. They just beat the Packers. You know, we might not think the Packers are a great team that's currently constructed right now, but, you know, you still got to respect Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, they, they, they won against that kind of team. Um, so I want to get an injury report, and then I'm going to get you guys' thoughts about the game, and then we're going to get going. All right, so first of all, Justin Houston has been ruled out. Rashad Bateman out. Uh, ben Cleveland out. Justice Hill already returned back to practice. I know I know, Nevin's happy about that. Uh, but he's doubtful, so but he, so I don't expect him to play this week. Um, so far as the Giants, uh, Tony Jefferson, you know, he's probably looking forward to playing the Ravens. He's out. Uh, foot injury, ankle injury, so he's not going to play. Uh, Kenny Galladay. Been disappointing, but he's out. Kadarius Tony, he was looking to break out this year. It didn't happen. He's also out. Uh, Aziz Ojolari, one of, their, one of their outside linebackers, is doubtful. He probably won't play. Uh, the biggest guy on here is, though, is Leonard Williams. Uh, questionable, big interior defensive lineman. Uh, good player, um, but he said he's feeling good, like he's leaning towards playing. So that's going to be a matchup for the guards and, and the center. You know, Tyler the going to have a, a challenge on his hands if uh, Dexter Lawrence is out there. Leonard Williams, you know, they, they got some big guys on the inside that can uh, really challenge Leonard Bum. And we know he's obviously a smaller center, so that's probably his one weakness is going against a bigger guy. So, uh, all right, man, whoever wants to go first, just give me your overall feeling about this game and going against, you know, a team that's that's 4-1 that we didn't see coming. Yeah, that 4-1, <laughs> I did not expect that. Um but, I mean, they're not a bad team. I mean, Saquon is playing well. Um, their defensive line is actually playing pretty decent as well. And, you know, Dink and Dump, uh, Danny, Danny Jones, that's what I call him. Because, I mean, a lot of just give it to Saquon. But he actually was, you know, passing the ball a little bit. You know, I saw Darius Slayton out there. I saw a showing um, after coming back. Um, but I still think the Ravens got this for sure. Um, as long as, you know, our interior holds up, really. Uh, I'm not too too concerned about the Giants' um, offense. Like, I'm not seeing, like, something, like, super great coming from them. Um, I see a little bit of efficiency. But, you know, again, this, you put the ball in Saquon's hands, especially now that he looks, you know, really good. He looks not only, you know, his typical power, but he moving kind of good with his feet. So, but other than that, like I'm not too uh, too concerned on uh, for our defense either. All right, so got the Giants this week. Four on one Giants. Y'all can hear me good. I was just with that offense. I I can't remember what game it was that I was watching. Um, they had a pretty decent O line. A pretty solid O line, but I think that we have the advantage um, on that defensive line with that defensive front, especially the way they played last week against the Bengals. If they play like that again, uh, we should give Danny Dimes some problems this weekend, you know. Um, however, of course, we got to watch out for 2 6, man. 2 6 is the X factor. He's he's the guy. Um, we got key on 6. We got key on 2 6. Hopefully, we don't see no like Wildcat. Or anything from them. Um, their their passing game doesn't scare me at all. Uh, like you said, Galladay is out, and even if he was in, he was out. Uh, uh, what we got? We got Kadarius Tony. Man, <laughs> he's supposed to be the guy for real, but you know he's he's not out. He's not going to be playing. Uh, is Richie James playing? All right. Well, I don't know if he's playing or not. Yeah, he's he playing. He's in. He's in. Okay. Yeah. So he he's probably he probably would be somebody that we need to keep an eye on in the past the game. But besides that, I, I feel like we should load the box on. You know. Fuck it. Load it. My bad. I mean, my bad. But yeah, load the box. I think we should definitely load the box on these guys. Make Danny Dimes beat us. If Danny Dimes beat us, then. We deserve to lose. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling. I probably even shouldn't say this, but I'm feeling like how we felt versus the Dolphins. If Tua got to beat us, he got to beat us. Obviously, that's what happened. But uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of how I'm feeling. 
Um, and you kind of named my X Factor for the Giants offense. Uh, Saquon Barkley for sure, but I'm more talking about the Giants Wildcat. Uh, that's that's really what I'm looking out for. Um, they they kind of stumbled upon it by accident. Tyrod Taylor got hurt. Daniel Jones got hurt in the same game, so they had to put Saquon at quarterback, and it worked for a little bit. You know what I mean? They ran Wildcat things like that. So that's kind of what I'm looking out for from the Giants offense. Like I'm not really scared of the pass game. If I had to get one guy. I would have to say, I mean, obviously Darius Slayton over top, you know, you got to watch that. You know, the Ravens have had some blown coverages, but I'm not really even too worried about that. It's really about Saquon Barkley. Can the Ravens stop the run? I know last week Joe Mixon got off, had about like five, six yards to carry, but I think that's because the Ravens were playing so far back. They were just trying to stop any explosive passive plays. I think this week they get back to playing a little bit more seven in the box, eight in the box, say, hey, Daniel Jones, win this game. Saquon not going to do it for you. So that, that's where I'm at with it. What, what you think, Neville? Let my man JPP get off, man. I liked what I saw. I definitely did. I saw some little flashes of old. Um, but, you know, I, I think that, you know, up front, I mean, it's really going to be one up front. Like, like I said, like, and like we all keep saying, like, if Daniel Jones do something, if he goes straight Eli on his old Eli though, like not towards the end of the career, Eli is kind of embarrassing. Um, but if he goes that route and, you know, can pick us apart, then, you know, by all means, I do think that to some extent, especially now with Marcus Williams being out and we got to kind of rotate a little bit and, you know, some guys just being banged up in general, I think that, you know, we do well with this. Um, of course, the Bengals, I think that boosted our confidence defensively a little bit, but I think this as well, you know, if we, start holding them and, you know, offense get off and start doing blowouts. Um, so, I mean, that's really how I'm looking at it. I don't know if you're about to jump into the offense or not, but I do, you know. Yeah, so I want Lamar. I was rough. It was a slow start. It definitely was a slow start. He was letting some balls sail, um, some easy ones at that. I don't think he's going to have that problem this time around, though. And I think that I think that we be able to get the runoff um, good, especially if – you know, um, if, um, you know, we hold up up front, really. I mean, I think the past game, you know, would be fine. I think Lamar, you know, his his vision is is getting better, um, you know, especially trying to look beyond just uh, just Mark Andrews. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's how I'm feeling, uh, you know, overall. Hey, hey, if you got anybody on the Ravens offense you watching uh, this week? Ravens offense. Um, I like to see uh, my boy, my boy Duvernay get a little bit more, you know, features. Like we kind of started off feeding them uh, against the Bengals, and then it started to slow down a little bit. I like to see that. I like to see them like really, really feature him. Like, um, and. I'm gonna I'm go. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Nevin was beating around the bush. Hey, eight eight got to play better. After that game last week, he he missed he missed too many he missed one too many times for me. Like that, I'm not used to him missing like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like that was like rookie year, second year mistakes right there, kind of. Not even really second year, more rookie year than anything. Um. I need a little bit. I need him to. I need him to play better this week, though. Um, we're gonna need him to play better because I feel like we can. We can get off on that defense. Like that defense is good. Don't get me wrong, but we know what the defense gonna do. The defense gonna blitz us. They gonna blitz us. They gonna blitz us, bro. Like so, uh, you know they they had the little stat where though Lamar is like like cooking blitzes this year. So that's let that's let it that's let it live on and um. I get these other receivers involved too in the play call. Like, like, of course, Mark Andrews gonna do him. He had a beautiful throw to Mark, Mark Andrews last week, a straight down over two players. Like that's that's a that's an elite throw. That's a generational talent throw. You get what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to seeing what um what one out will will more of our receivers do this week. Um, and I'm paying close attention to to uh, the pitch count for J.K. Dobbins as well because we are playing on that life. No, you brought up some great points, man. Um, with with Lamar Jackson, it's almost like 
I, I, I don't like criticizing them too much in public spaces just because a lot of people take it too far. Oh, that's why you can't pay him. That's why he's running back. And it's like, bro, like we can we can criticize Lamar Jackson and say, hey, he needs to play better without people taking it so far into the other side. I ain't talking about you guys, obviously, but I'm just talking about like, idiots on the Internet and stuff like that. Um, So, yeah, I mean, listen, Lamar, he got to play better, bro. I mean, listen, the, the one the one at Duvernay, we could say that was tough. Um, I think he should have hit him. Uh, but the one at Tyler Wallace is inexcusable. He's 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 open by ten yards. You know, you gotta hit him. Uh so yeah. Um and you brought up the, the to me, this is the biggest part of this game this week. Wink Martindale could say whatever he wants in the media. Oh, it's just another game. I love the Ravens. Me and John Harbaugh, that's my brother. Uh da, da. listen, man. Whether it was mutual terms, whether he got fired, I believe it was mutual. Sometimes you just got to split, and it's time to let it go. And I think that's what happened. It was time for the Ravens to move in a different direction, all right? But there's no way that Wink Martindale doesn't want his defense to dominate the Ravens. There's, there's, there's no way. So that's what I'm looking out for. And the stats that you were bringing up is the uh, fact that Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the NFL versus the Blitz this season. Um, I think it's in terms of touchdowns, interception ratio, and also in terms of uh, passer rating. He's absolutely killing the Blitz. And we know what Wink Martindale wants to do. Um, honestly, and on the Giants side, he's kind of playing with no name corners, no name safeties. I mean, they're they're playing well. Don't get me wrong, but I can't really say there's there's this guy on the Giants defense that I'm I'm looking at. Like okay, like the guy, like Darnay Holmes. You know, he's a good he's a good young player. Um, I think they got a Dory Jackson. I believe he's still up on on the Giants, still playing. That's what I was about to say, a Dory Jackson. Right. So it's like they they got a couple guys, but it's not like. Yeah, this guy's going to give X and X Y Z trouble. I don't, I don't feel that way. Um, and then Duvernay, listen, man, Duvernay showed and proved his worth, bro. Listen, he's not that, he's not Debo Samuel. I'm not saying he is, but they got comparable skill sets, and the Ravens kind of unlocked that last week uh, versus the Bengals. Couple touches in the backfield, moving them around, five catches, 54 yards. He really could have had 100 plus if him and Lamar connected on that bomb. Now we're looking at that dude when they game completely different. Six catches, 100 plus yards, touchdown, 25 yards rushing. We're looking like, oh, that's a that's that's amazing. Prime time, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm really looking out for. Devin Duvernay. Um, and as far as Lamar Jackson, uh, just last part about him, I don't really get too worried game to game because he he bounced back. You know, that that's that's what he do. He ain't nobody harder on Lamar Jackson than he is on himself. So when he have a bad game, I already know next game he's gonna look out to kill it. And um I don't know. I, I take a little bit of credence into this stat. Lamar is 12 and 0 versus the NFC. You know, so um, obviously the Giants are an uh, NFC team, and uh, I think he can make that 13 and 0. Um, and J.K. Dobbins, while I get you frustrated, let's 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 stop liking tweets about you not playing enough. I agree, you should play more, but let's 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 not like the tweets though. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you, you guys got any more thoughts about the game? I mean, I was going to bring up the the JK thing a little bit. I do kind of want to see what a disgruntled employee does. Uh, um, just following, you know, him following his, uh, his grievances and stuff. I mean, but I mean, I get that he's frustrated, but I'll be honest with you. Like, I can get some of the trepidation a little bit. I mean, you had a peg leg last, last year. Like, we don't want to lose you again. I mean, you know, we have some depth and stuff like that. And you, you know, you progressing and stuff, but. I mean, I, I get both sides of it, but I do want to see him do something well. And might I add, too, by the defense, because this just hit me. Um, told you about Patrick Queen, right? You know, Patrick Queen almost make the tackle, almost get the interception, finally got got that interception. That definitely helped us in the big game. So I'm definitely, you know, happy to see that. But, you know, again, on the defensive side, you know, everything's going to be one up front. You know, Lamar, DuVernay, and so forth. But. Yeah, I'm I'm just curious about JK, that's all. I got my own I got, I got my own thoughts about that uh that Patrick Queen interception. It's just the timing was just wonderful that they put up uh a couple national championship pitches right at there of him and Joe Burrow. But that's that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> all right. Um but as far as JK goes, man, I was more worried about the the Ronnie Stanley pitch count than the JK one. Um but it looked Ronnie Stanley looked good. 
JK looked good. And even Greg Roman said it. Like, he said he looked like the JK that was of old. So I'm not sure if they are, like, are they trying to, like, pick at him and make him, like, really, like, lock in? Or I'm not sure if this is a mental tactic here. Because I know that in football, coaches do that type of thing. Like, they will do that to you. Like, all right, we're going we're gonna to pick at you about this just to see if you, you know, change it. But um, all in all, man, uh, I really think that J.K. will have a big game this week. Um, I think we win the – I think that's probably how we win the game, though, mainly, uh, you know, running the ball. Uh, because I feel like I, I feel like our old line can, um, can, can definitely win in the trenches this week. It's going to be tough. It's going to be – it's definitely going to be tough. But our run team – I was looking at some of the like plays, like we do a lot of pulling, like a lot of the, the a lot of the guards pull, some of the tackles pull, like, and they'll block down, let somebody come free, and then Patrick Ricardo just clean them up, and that that's that just opened up a whole alley. I forgot who used to say that on on uh, on ESPN, but it, it opened up an alley, and we just gotta hit them, we gotta hit them alleys and kick it home. Was it? I, don't, I almost want to say it was Chris Berman, but I, don't, I could be wrong about that. I don't know, but I know what you're talking about. It's, it's was it him? I can't remember. But any... I think it was. I want to say it was Mike Mayock. Like I, could I could be wrong. I'm could probably be. wrong. Like, it wasn't Mike Mayock. It was somebody else. It was somebody else. I forgot. I forgot. But uh, but Nev, Nevin, give you your credit. You did call out Patrick Queen. We both laughed. Hey, I laughed. I did. Patrick Queen made a great play in coverage. He he read it. Uh, conspiracy theory. Evan can 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 say all he wants about. Uh, uh, it was it was perfect timing. He can say all he wants about that. I'm not hearing it. I'm giving Patrick Queen full credit for the play. Um, great play on his end. So I, I, we, we we can't um, talk about this game. Not talk about the fact that the Ravens lost Marcus Williams, which is easily their. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, easily their best sign in the summer, right? It's got to be their best sign of the offseason was Marcus Williams. I mean, he played well. Um, he made a lot of money. He's earning. He's living up to it so far. Um, so the way it's looking is the fact that Geno Stone got a lot of those snaps right after uh, Marcus Williams got hurt, and that Kyle Helms is still kind of rotated in as it's been. And to me personally, I'm gonna get my two cents on it. I'm fine with it. I think Geno Stone is a center field free safety. He he can play that role. While I think Kyle Hamilton can do that, I don't think that's the best way to use him year one. I kind of want to, I mean, if, honestly, if Chuck wasn't on this team, I would like to see him doing what Chuck Clark is doing, but Chuck is here. So I don't, I don't, you know, it's kind of hard with that, but the Ravens will still get three safeties on the field instead of Marcus Williams and, and those guys that would be Geno, Kyle and, and Chuck, you know, so I think Kyle will still have a, a good role, a big role in this game, but um, I think it's going to be Geno Stone. And honestly, this is not the game that we're really going to see us get tested deep, in my opinion. So, Geno Stone might not even have much to do this game, to be honest with you. Um, so, but, yeah, how, how you guys feel about the rotation between, you know, whether it's Geno Stone going to be starting or Kyle Helms to start? All right, yo. So, look, this is how I feel, straight up and down. I like Geno Stone. I like his game. Like, in the preseason, he caught a, he caught a couple picks in the preseason. Uh, even even last year when I had went to the camp, when I went to the training camp, he made plays in the training camp in the in the in the you know in space, like in the air. So I like that he has range. Even though coming out of college, they had him listed as a strong safety. He went to Iowa. I had to do my homework on it because I was wondering the same thing. Like if you draft, if you if you spend a draft pick on on Kyle Hamilton. And your your seventy million dollar safety gets injured. I could be getting that number wrong. I don't count pockets. Uh, but if he get injured, then I'm guessing that that first round safety is gonna fill in for him. But if you watch Kyle Hamilton play, he's more of a a strong safety in the box, uh, guard a tight end, a Travis Kelsey, if you will. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm not mad at the Geno Stone move. I actually like Geno Stone, and I think that he will come up with a pick this week if they try it. If they try to, if they try to bomb us, I can see him coming down with a pick, and the people of Raven, Ravens flock gonna be like, "Oh, all right, we all right, we good then." Because I've seen a lot of people saying like, "So why do you spend it, spend it to get this Kyle Hamilton kid if he can't go back and play free safety?" and I'm going to say to you, like, how much football have you been watching? Have you ever played football? 
because free safety and strong safety are two very different positions, bro. Like, two very different positions. Sometimes they might both be back, but a lot of the time, if you're in three or you're in four, of course, you're going to have to be back deep, but you still kind of have a little bit of help with the corner to, your, to, the, to the left or the right, whatever side you're playing. So it's like, listen, all in all, I believe in Geno Stone. I think that he's going to make some big plays this week. He's also a striker. I think that's where that strong safety, uh, you know, title come in at. So I can see him coming up big in the run game as well, making some plays. He has played against Saquon before, so he knows what's going on. So we're going to see. Yeah, and I mean, I mostly agree with Evan. To be honest with you, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about back there. It's, it's not going to be a huge test, not not this week. Um, so, I mean, I just want to see how the rotation go, you know, if, you know, that's the route they're going to go. Um, and just trying to get Kyle Hampton some more bump. I mean, because we have a long season ahead of us. Marcus Williams going to be gone for, what, a few months or so. So we got to figure out what our game plan is going to be moving forward and make sure, you know, we try to, I ain't going to say even the snap count between the two. But make sure that there is a distribution that actually is going to be uh going to be good for uh both parties for real because like I said we're going we're going to need them down the road um especially when we get you know some more high flying kind of games but this game ain't really it. Yeah, I, I've been saying from the beginning that Kyle Hamilton's versatility is being used against him. The Ravens see this guy six four two twenty whatever he is can play all over the field. And then that's what they're doing. They're playing them everywhere. I mean, really, they should just let him play one position, master that spot, and move on from there. Um, they have Geno Stone on the roster. They really don't have a backup strong safety. So you would have to think Kyle Hamilton is that guy. You know what I mean? So um, so with him, Geno Stone, I have no issue with it. I, 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 honestly, I, I really don't. I think, it's, I think it works out perfectly fine. He'll still play. He'll still get a lot of time on the field. And, you know, it is, it is what it is, honestly. So... Um, so I want to give the uh, the score predictions. Um, you know, you got to do that. Uh, four and one Giants, three and two Ravens. MetLife Stadium once again. We was there week week one, right? We was there week one. Now we now we come back again. I don't know if that's that seems like something that's I don't know if that's ever happened before. That seemed kind of crazy. We're playing the same stadium twice like that. But anyway, uh, so I'm gonna give my prediction first. I'm gonna go Ravens. <sighs> Let me see. I'm I'm thinking. 30-14. Um, I think the Ravens dominate this game. I think they score points on this on this Wink Martindale defense. And oh, I want to shout out, not shout out, but I want I'm looking out for two players, the linebackers. Josh Bynes, Patrick Queen. I need big games. Patrick Queen, do it again. Because Saquon's gonna get the ball running the ball. And then this play action game is gonna try to pull you down and hit you right and you know, hit right uh, hit right behind you in that, in that gap you left. So I wanted to say that I ain't I ain't wanna forget that. So Josh Bynes, Patrick Queen. Big games for me, all honestly. But 30, 30 to fourteen, Ravens. Um, I think the Ravens, if they don't, if they don't mess around, we know how the Ravens have to play down to their competition. We know this. We this has been a problem for years. I've said this many times. Twenty nineteen is the only season as a Ravens fan that I can remember where, when the game was over, it was done. We blew everybody out that year. Well, after like week five, we blew everybody out. Every other season, the Ravens play down to their competition, play up to their competition. So I want to see some consistency. To me, I don't care what the Giants are four and one. You're better than the Giants. Go out there and dominate them. So thirty to fourteen. Uh, that, that's my prediction. What y'all got? I'm right there with you. I was gonna say thirty-five, fourteen. Um, again, I'm not too 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 concerned about this game. I don't have a lot of hot takes with this one. But you are right though. Like as far as us playing down to. The competition because that has been our Achilles heel and I don't know why it's been our Achilles heel and why we sit here and think that you know that's okay um but I see a 35-14 I see a blowout I see us coming out of this with some more confidence two wins in a row and I think that you know we just kind of test some things out especially if the game kind of gets out of hand in our favor a little bit early on I'm gonna go 27-10. I still got a lot of respect for my boy Wink, yo. I I rock with Wink heavy. You know, he 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 seemed like one of those coaches players, play oh, player coaches. That's the word I think it is. But um, 
you know, I, I'm going to give him a little credit. I think that um, – but I think we about to, we about to dice him up because that was real disrespectful what he did to us last year, putting them door dash drivers in that, in that zero blitz. Like, that's – come on, bro. Like, I don't got to name the names of who was out there playing corner for us, but they're not playing corner for us no more. They're not on the roster no more. I don't even think they're in the NFL anymore, if we being honest. If they're in the NFL, they're probably on a practice practice squad or something. So, my thing is, I think we put up twenty about twenty seven to thirty points, and we hold them down. And then they, you know, they might get a little field goal out out the deal, or something like that. Uh, and the Saquon touchdown. But besides that, I feel like we we shut them down. So twenty seven ten is my prediction. Ravens, let's get it. Yeah, absolutely. Ravens all day. Um, I do have Saquon Barkley on my fantasy team. So, you know, one touchdown for Saquon is all I'm allowing. That's it. 100 yards, one touchdown. I'm cool with it. All right. That's, that's it, Saquon. all you get. That's it. Um, but so, you guys got any last final thoughts before we get out of here? We're going to wrap it up, man. Last thing I got, it's a Patrick Queen. I need you to play like that every fucking mm. – damn, I did it again. I'm sorry. I need you to play like that every week, bro. Every week, I need you to play like that. You can't do that just one week and then don't do it again. JPP, thank you. Thank you so much. Ojabo is on his way back. Tyus Bowser is on his way back. Gus Edwards on his way back. It's going to get scary for you NFL teams out here. I'm just getting the message out there right now. That's it. Y'all got me ready to be on my Michael Irvin. Listen, man, I've been telling y'all from the jump. Look, when I said Justice Hill, I'm going to need you to do what you got to do. Justice Hill was there. When I told y'all Patrick Queen got to do what he got to do, Patrick Queen was there. I ain't even going to give y'all. I'm not even going to give y'all no, you know, big, you know, underdogs with this one. I'm going to let y'all live this week. But just know, when I'm right, I'm right. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, he bluffing. He don't want to be wrong. He's trying to hold on to the hot street. Uh, so look, man. Hey, listen. This channel ain't monetized yet. When, when, when you two start monetizing, I, I'll, I'll start docking Evan for for cursing on my channel. Don't worry. But until then, though, we'll, we'll, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> no, but seriously, man. So we all we all predicting the Ravens W. Listen, the Ravens are a good team. You, if you're a good team, you got to beat teams who you are better than. And the Giants are four and one. I get all that, but I would say the Ravens are a better team. Got to win these kind of games. And if you're going to win them, win them in dominating fashion. So that's our thoughts on this game. You know what I mean? So uh, leave your comments. Uh, leave your predictions down there. You know, I'll reply all the comments, man. Y'all have a great day. It's your boy Gabriel. Uh, just another fan TV. Nevin, Evan, we out, man.